Uh, we just got dinner, folks. Well, look at that. How cool is that? What's up guys? We are gonna do a video a little different for you. Um, we figured we would do a night video. Starting right here at the creek. Our old fishing hole, um, as you guys could tell. Nice little creek out here. And uh, we're gonna do some fishing before the sun goes down and hopefully catch a big old creek monster for you. And just so everybody knows, I'm feeling much better today. My sunburn is calmed down a lot and I'm peeling a lot, but it's all good and I feel so much better today than I did yesterday. Because it's time for some fishing. So this fishing hole is kind of a cool place for me. I've been coming out here since I was a kid. Um, we do have pictures. Possibly I might be able to attach one. I don't know. Um, but we have been coming out here for years and years and years. And you can catch anything from gar, drum, catfish, uh, bass, all sorts of stuff out here. So this is just a cool place for me to fish. My old stomping grounds, I guess you could say. It's the first time I've ever fished out here. I've been here before, but never fished out here before. We did catch a crab out here once. We did. If you, a uh, blue crab. Yeah, if you've been watching long enough, we got a uh, blue crab. So uh, we're going to do some fishing and uh, see if we get any bites. We're using liver wrapped with gauze to hold it on. So and we'll see how well that works as bait. Yep. Also, because all uh, the wildlife comes out here, I love looking at all the little footprints and stuff. Check these out. Little raccoon tracks, I'm pretty sure. There's a whole bunch of them coming down here probably eating little crabs and fish. It's cool coming out here too and seeing uh, where the hogs come down and wallow in the mud, come cool off. I just absolutely love being out here with all this uh, wildlife and just middle of nowhere, guys. I love it. So, we, well, Jason just found this awesome little skull. What do you guys think it's from? He said maybe possibly a raccoon. We're not sure, but I think this would be really cool to clean up and maybe mount on a piece of wood. So I will think I'll go ahead and keep that. The water is down in the creek. Normally it's up as high as that bank over there. It's flowing really good, but it's not right now. So check out all these crab holes. They're just all over the place. I mean, just tons of them all the way down. We weren't really uh, gonna go fishing right now. We were uh, went into town, didn't expect to fish. That's why Jaylena is in is in her flip flops. But in the mud. there's nothing wrong with that. Good old ranch life, getting in there, just like the beach, right? Just like the beach. Not quite. We've been out here for about an hour now or so and we haven't really been getting any bites or anything our bait keeps disappearing but that's it and nothing else so i don't know if we're going to catch anything today but we got some more stuff planned for tonight to show you guys the nightlife at the ranch all right we are back at the ranch and uh as you guys know this is my post that i've been putting the uh game camera on and I throw the uh, feed down here well that game camera kind of junked out on us it ain't working so great um, it took photos last night but they were all green and it looks like a broken screen type thing so we got this little bad boy it's really small probably like a quarter of the size of the other one but way better and uh, 
is the cheapest one we could possibly get and so we're gonna set this up tonight it takes a lot better photos it takes it it takes a photo every five seconds the other one it took about a minute and a half between photos so that can easily have something run off this get it pretty quick so we're gonna try to uh, put this up throw some corn out and see what we could uh, find tonight hopefully catch some cool stuff so I got this little bad boy set up it's tiny compared to the other one which is great it kind of uh, blends a little easier takes up less room it's lighter it's better to carry around. I'm going to do a full review on it, but first I got to test it out. I ain't going to uh, do a full review on it right now. I got to put it to the test. So we got it there. Let's throw some corn out. And this time I will not be throwing it over my shoulder like my great grandfather told me for good luck. I'm just going to sprinkle it like a little salt and pepper. That's all you need, a little salt and pepper. So hopefully we'll come out a little later. A lot of this corn will be gone, and uh, we can find us some cool animals on this uh, game cam. The coolest animal of all would be the goats. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we get some goat action. And yes, people did ask us if we're gonna move it around. Yes, we will. We're gonna move it all over the place. We're gonna move it next to water sources. We're gonna move it in the middle of open fields. We're gonna put it in some real brushy areas. Try to get as much coverage as you can. And then maybe, um, maybe get a couple more if we can. Uh, they're not super cheap. They're about $40. And so uh, if we can swing it, we might buy another one and try to put it on the other side of the ranch and kind of move it up around that way. But for now, I think this is going to work. All right, so now that it's nice and dark, we are going to drive around and look for the goats and then see if we see any coyotes or javelinas or anything like that that can be predators to the goats and uh, just try to keep an eye out, try to look, try to see what we see and uh, just show you guys what we do at night. So unfortunately, we don't have the Jeep at the moment, and uh, we can only drive so far in the truck without getting stuck. So we're just gonna go to one part of the ranch, and then, uh, well, of course we're at the ranch, but one part of it, and see what we see. But uh, it's better than nothing, I guess. You're gonna, hey, we're gonna be right here on it, but be quick. It? No. Right there. Oh, yeah. Big old rattlesnake. That thing is huge. Ooh. You see its rattle down there? Mm -hmm. Cause its head can still get you. I blew its uh, body off. Well, please don't get bit. This might be dinner. I blew its side off and part of its head. It was wrapped up. Ew. That's a big old rattlesnake. That could really mess you up, people. See that rattle? We don't see a whole lot of these out here, but I'm pretty sure we just got dinner. Even with it dead like this, that mouth, you can cut the head off and the mouth can still put poison in you. So you gotta be real careful when you mess with uh, snakes like this. So, I'm gonna cut its head off and then uh, put it underground. Bet y'all didn't know I was married to a barbarian. Well, yep. you do what you gotta do. I don't even want like an animal stepping on this, especially one of our dogs. So I'm gonna bury that. Uh, we just got dinner, folks. 
Well, look at that. How cool is that? Ooh, creepy. We used to uh, save these as kids. We'd have little rattles, and I had one for years. And I don't know where it is, but this is the first rattlesnake I've seen out here in a long time. Its nerves are still uh, making it shake a little bit. So I don't know what to do with this um, so the dogs don't get it in the back. But maybe they'll leave it alone. All right, so we're gonna do a little uh, catch, clean, and cook for this guy. So I'm gonna flip him over and uh, get him uh, cut open. Unfortunately, I blew half its uh, side off right there. So we're gonna lose a little bit of meat, but kind of mess up the uh, skin a little bit. But I'm gonna try to save the skin if I can. So what you're gonna do is just take your knife and try to cut it right down the middle all the way around. I'm going to attempt to save this skin so I'm going to try to do it as good as I can. As you can tell you just slide it up in there and it goes pretty far to slip this uh, fish fillet knife. So now here's the kind of stunt part of it all the way through here. So we're going to try to get all that out. It's like anything else if you've ever uh, cleaned an animal. Just got to get all this junk out. We'll just give all this to the dogs. If they want to eat it. Which they probably will. Try not to let anything go to waste. Because I don't like to, uh, I don't like to kill an animal just for fun. So we did uh, take this snake's life because to me, rattlesnakes, there's nothing good about them. They, uh, if we were to get bit by this thing, we'd be in a lot of trouble. If our dogs got bit by this, we'd be in a lot of trouble. Or if our goats that are out there somewhere got bit by one, a lot of trouble. So let's figure it. Uh, we'd eat them and uh, let the dogs eat them. I can say that Jason never hesitates to put his hands up in some dirty, nasty stuff. Yep. So as you can tell, we got all that out. Um, try to clean it out a little bit better here. Now I'm gonna try to get the meat off the skin. So I'm gonna try to be as careful as I can because like I said, I'm trying to save this if I can. So I'm just gonna kinda gently cut it off. If you guys know of an easier way to do this, like I said, I haven't done a snake in a long time, but if you know an easier way to do this, comment down below, cause I'm sure we're gonna run into a lot more snakes out here. Even, it's already been like 30, 40 minutes, and the heart's still beating. It's pretty cool. Now that I got some of the skin coming off, I guess the easy way now is just to pull it. But I'm just trying to do it as good as I can without ripping it. But it's coming off pretty good. Way better than uh, having to cut it, that's all I gotta say. Am I the only one that thinks this is super gross? Yeah, right, this is awesome. But that's the uh, the part you wanna save. That's a big old rattlesnake. That's all I gotta say. What I'm gonna do with this though, is uh, I'm gonna grab like a stick or something. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna try to save this skin and uh, I don't want to nail it to a board and make it all long or anything like that right now. So what I'm going to do is 
as good as I can. I'm gonna try to wrap it around the stick and then uh, freeze it. Save it for later. But it's a nice skin. Look at that. It's a bummer that there's a big old hole in it, but there's a good portion of it that's good. Maybe I'll uh, make something real nice for our anniversary gift to Jaylena. Mm -hmm. Look at that. It's a nice skin right there. And then I'll put that in a Ziploc bag and put it in the freezer. Save it for later till I can do something with it. As you can tell, that's what a nice skinned out rattlesnake looks like. That's pure meat. Look at that. That's a good amount of meat. And then the rattle, I'm going to cut that off just to let it dry. You got a cool little... uh Souvenir. Like I said earlier, you should save these as kids. It's pretty cool. So now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to kind of cut a section of it. We're not going to cook the whole thing right now. I'm going to save some for later. Um, whenever we go to my parents' house, we're going to fry some up. But we're going to... Uh, probably cook a good portion of it for Jaylene and I right now on the grill. So I'm gonna cut that up and then get the fire started. We don't like to waste a whole lot and as you guys know, the dogs were with us whenever we did it. And so, been a good boy. Let him have some rattlesnake. See if he'll eat it. Come on. I'm sure he'll grab it and take it. No. He'll, he will. He's just trying to figure out what it is. Take some of this out here and let them eat it. I'll put it on this little concrete. If not, the raccoons will come get it. As you can see, I cut the bad part off. We got this little chunk, which ain't bad. Uh, definitely give us a taste. And then uh, I'll probably cut like a good chunk for Jalen and I. And then we'll say the rest to uh, fry up. So I'm gonna cut that and then uh, go get the fire started. So now that we got our rattlesnake all ready to go, I think this will be plenty for Jaylene and I tonight. And uh, I'm gonna try some of this. It is Everglades cactus dust. I got no clue what this tastes like, but I figured why not? And then I absolutely love this stuff. This stuff has been amazing to us. So, why not? So I'm gonna let that sit on there for a little bit until we get the fire going. And then uh, we'll throw this snake on there. I'm super excited to try this out. So while this fire gets going, I wanted to show you something cool from one of our viewers. This is our protection, as you know, as we like to call it here. And uh, they gave us this mount that has a flashlight on it. This is not the flashlight they gave us. Uh, for some reason, it's not turning on. I think maybe the battery's bad in it or it just wasn't charged all the way. So I got a flashlight that another viewer gave us and it's super cool. It's on there, it actually works really great. It's really, really bright. Um, you could zoom in and zoom out on it, if I could do real quick. And so it gets a real good uh, beam on there, which is really, really cool for us. So I'm going to show you how awesome this is. So you can see straight down over there to the uh, tree line, which is really cool. You can see really good in the uh, scope. And this thing comes in handy big time. It's really cool. So everywhere you look, you can see it's really cool. So this is a super cool uh, attachment that is going to come in handy a lot and hopefully catch some predators with this that uh, could potentially save our goats when they come back and our dogs and our quail and ourselves. So this is going to come in handy on these dark country nights.
So while we got this fire uh, burning down just a little more before I put the snake on there, I'm gonna go check the uh, corn and see if anything has got it. And if it has, then I'll check the trail cam and see what it was. Take the pups with me. Come on, pup. Looks like we still got a bunch of corn out here. So I think we're gonna have to let this run overnight and kind of see what picks up. So this fire is starting to get where I want it. So I'm gonna put this grill. Our buddy Grady McNutt made this and it looks just like something you buy from the store. So I'm gonna let it start getting hot. Once the flames go down just a little more, I'm gonna stick the uh, snake on there and get it cooking. Now that I got the fire where I want it, we're gonna go ahead and put this snake on here. That's some good looking snake right there. Honestly, I'm not 100% sure how long you're supposed to cook snake, but I guess it can't be that hard to figure out. And I know I'm going to get a lot of hate for using these tongs, but it's all I got. I don't have a fork or nothing right now, so use what you got like I always say. And uh, I think this is going to work just fine. I do think uh, for my own liking, it's just too high off the, uh, the flame. I dug the hole too deep. So what I'm going to try to do is uh, fold the legs back up and put it down. Now that we got the grill a little closer to the flames, throw this back on there. Yeah, that sizzling sound is what I like. I think this is going to cook a little better right here, a little, a little faster. So it's been cooking for a little bit, so let's go ahead and flip it and see what it looks like. Alright, I like that. It's getting a little bit... Uh, crispy under there let's check this side that's good that looks real good so we're gonna let it cook on this other side for a little bit that's where more of the meat is on the other side and uh, check back in a minute so this is looking pretty good as you can tell it's getting nice and crispy all around again not a hundred percent sure how long you're supposed to cook rattlesnake. I've never eaten it before. So uh, it's gonna be interesting. But this one's looking real good to my, my liking right there. If it's like any other kind of meat. So I think this one's pretty good. And then uh, this one right here, I'm gonna let go just for a hair longer and then I'm ready to try it. These are looking real good to me. So I'm gonna take them off and try it. Take it inside to Jaylena and see what she thinks. So this is what it looks like with a little bit better lighting inside. It's nice and crispy, like a nice little campfire would be. So, uh, Jaylene, are you ready to try this? You try it first. Alright, so I guess I'm going to try this piece and then both, since this is a little bit less meat and that's more meat. We'll see. Super curious. I've been waiting for this for a long time. Hopefully it's cooked good. I know everyone's going to hate me for saying this, but it tastes kind of like chicken. <laughs> I know it's the seasoning and stuff too. That's good. This one's a little more juicy because it's thicker, I would assume. And uh, it's not bad. It's just a little juicier. I mean, the best way I can say is chicken. It tastes kind of like chicken. You going in for more? It kind of tastes like, it does taste like chicken, but the texture is more like a fatty texture and not a meaty texture, but it's good. Did you eat it again? Probably not. 
It's not the fact that it doesn't taste good. It's the fact that it's a snake. I knew it. All right, guys. I'm going to finish eating this uh, snake because Jaylene and I don't want to. And I'm going to edit the video so you guys can watch this tomorrow. Hopefully, you like this. It was a little different. Instead of working during the day, we showed you what it's kind of like at night. And so, uh, thank you, as always, for your support. If this is your first time over watching because you came for the snake, thank you so much. Hopefully, you checked out the rest of our stuff and you liked it. Um, if you can't tell, we got a desk. If you're on our Facebook and Instagram and all that, you already knew that because you saw it there first. And, uh, you know, thank you so much for everything. As always, love you guys. Appreciate all the support. See ya tomorrow or in a few hours, I guess, really. See ya!